Hi, Steve fans, and welcome back to the channel. In a previous video, I talked about diving in cold water, or more specifically, right here in the UK. And a neat follow on from that is, should I learn to dive here or abroad? So in this episode, I'll be looking at the options open to people wanting to make that first step into the world of diving. This month's videos are sponsored by Seiko, who have been producing quality dive watches since 1965, and many of their innovations are still seen today across many other brands. Where should I learn to dive is one of the questions I am asked most often, and there is no straightforward answer, as that depends on multiple factors. First and foremost, where do they live? If someone resides in Florida, for instance, or is lucky enough to call some sun-kissed island in the Caribbean home, then I'll just point them in the direction of their nearest dive centre. Job done. However, what about if someone lives right here in the UK, or some other location that is blessed with cold water on the doorstep? Then it's not such a simple answer. Now, here in this country, I often hear if you learn here, you can dive anywhere. And I totally understand the thinking behind that what rather sweeping statement. Diving in the UK is naturally more challenging than diving in, say, the Caribbean, because of the amount of exposure protection you need to wear to be able to dive comfortably in sometimes single digit water temperatures. And there's the somewhat limited visibility and the other variable underwater and surface conditions because of our changeable weather patterns right here in this country. So divers who have done their training in UK waters are more used to dealing with less than perfect conditions and so theoretically should be well suited to diving in warm, clear waters. However, I have seen some downright lousy divers while on assignment abroad who had previously only ever dived in the UK. So you simply cannot say that everyone who learns in this country is going to be a better, more rounded diver than someone who learned in warm water. Whatever entry level diving course you go for, regardless of the training agency, will only teach you the core essentials of scuba diving. There is an argument that certain agencies might go into more depth, excuse the pun, than others, but that discussion is for another time. And to a large extent, the quality of the course revolves more around the individual instructor than it does the actual agency. At the end of the day, there is only so much you can learn and digest in four or five days. Yes, some entry-level courses take several months when bought through a club system. But there is the argument that an hour in the pool here and a day there offers no real advantage over an intensive course over a period of four or five days. So back to diving in the UK. As discussed in my previous video, cold water diving has much to recommend it. But let's be honest, it isn't for everyone. For every person I tempt into local waters, I encounter five whose ideal diving scenario is slipping into bathtub warm waters in a swimsuit, rash vest and board shorts, or maybe a thin wetsuit, swimming around in crystal clear waters for an hour, and then relaxing with a cocktail or a beer on the beach afterwards. So when I am asked, should I learn to dive here or abroad by someone who resides in the UK? My first endeavor is to find out what they are planning to do with their diving. If a person has their heart set on diving the wrecks of Scapa Flow in Scotland, or playing with the seals off Lundy Island in Devon, for instance, then my advice to them would be to complete their dive courses right here in the UK. You will learn to deal with the conditions in which you are going to be predominantly diving, and then if you do head off to warmer waters down the line, you should be well prepared. If, however, the person is only wanting to get qualified to be able to dive somewhere like the Egyptian Red Sea, or some similar warm water destination, then I tend to give them a few options to consider. Yes, they could do their entire course in our cold waters, but at the end of the day, why? If they're never planning on diving in the UK, why go through all the rigmarole of donning all the exposure protection and dealing with our unpredictable conditions? 
I have seen people sign up for a dive course over here in readiness for that forthcoming trip to some sunny destination abroad, only to jack it all in because they couldn't deal with the hassles of UK diving. I'd sooner keep people in diving rather than see them as another dropout statistic because there's far too many of them anyway. Now, these people could do their entire course once they arrive at their chosen holiday destination. And that certainly is something I tell them to consider. But I usually counsel why should they lose a couple of days of their hard-earned vacation time in the classroom or in a swimming pool, when if they did a referral with a local centre or club in this country, they can then just get stuck straight into the actual open water diving once they get abroad. They could reasonably then have their basic dive cert in their hand by the end of the second dive day in some circumstances, meaning they've got more time to actually put their newfound diving skills into use for the rest of their holiday. If down the line these people who either learned completely abroad or went the referral route do decide that they fancy trying out our fabulous cold water diving, then it is perfectly feasible. It just takes a bit more effort and dedication to go from warm water to cold than the other way around. I am talking about this where to learn to dive scenario from a mainly UK perspective, but with reference to the cold water side of things, it's equally applicable to other more temperate water locations, it has to be said. The other great thing about going the referral route is that it shares your course monies between a local dive centre and the centre in your holiday destination. And as we come out of the COVID-19 pandemic, every little helps. So, where did you learn to dive? What are some of your hints and advice for someone who is looking at getting into our awesome sport? Leave your comments below, and if you've got a query, fire away. Because if we can't answer it, someone in our growing community might be able to help you out. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Ring that notification bell so that you know when we put up a new video. And don't forget that you can grab a free digital magazine subscription in the description below. As always, if you're going diving, stay safe.